Uh, I grew up as a kid wading small rivers and creeks and fishing that way. So I've known for a long time that I enjoyed doing that. And I rarely encounter anybody that I bring to a place like the Flint River that doesn't enjoy it just about as much as I do by the time they leave. Yeah, it was a better question than I thought it was. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to gauge how good they are until you hear the answer. Shoal bass are a very unique species. Uh, when I first came to the state back in the mid-70s, uh, everybody knew shoal bass were here in the Flint River, and we knew they weren't anywhere else, but we didn't really realize they were a separate species. Uh, local folks used to call them Flint River bass because they knew this is the only place they live. They weren't entirely correct because they're endemic to the Apalachicola River system, which includes the Chattahoochee River. But because of all the dams built along the Chattahoochee River, all the way from Lake Lanier in the north to Lake Seminole in the south, there's almost no riverine habitat like there is here on the Flint. So all, almost all the shoal bass on the, on the Chattahoochee portion of their range had disappeared long before uh, I ever showed up. Smallmouth can thrive in water that's barely moving or even in lakes where the water doesn't move at all. Shoal bass, completely the opposite. Unless the water is moving and moving relatively fast, uh, they may persist, but they don't flourish. They don't thrive. Uh, it's, it's very clear that they're a fish of fast flowing water. Uh, we're here at Mother's Day and uh, we, we did a little Sane sampling up the river and and caught some small, you know, less than half inch long shoal bass that had just just hatched off a of bed, uh, and this is the almost the middle of May. Uh, a lot of fishermen would think that shoal bass spawn much earlier than that, but they don't. Generally speaking, bass, largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, all those bass species are typically sort of thought of as homebodies. They don't move a lot. Uh, shoal bass, very, very different. Uh, we've documented movements over the course of a year of more than 100 miles one way, not to mention the round trip. Uh, so it's very common for them uh, to, to move up into this real good shoal habitat to spawn in the springtime, maybe to hang around until water levels begin to diminish in the, in the midsummer and then maybe take off down river to where the waters are deeper, very different habitat, hang around down there for several months until the next spring when they come 40, 50, 60, maybe even 70 miles back up the river again to, to spawn in the shoals. Missed him. Yeah. That's a pretty one. Bring him here.